Here we have this integral of 4x squared over the square root of 25 minus x squared. So as I look at this, I'm going to draw this triangle and I'm going to label the sides such that I end up with one of the sides being the square root of 25 minus x squared. So this hypotenuse is going to be a 5. So when I square it, I'll get the 25. And then we will have this be x so that this side would be the square root of 25 minus x squared. So here's my theta. So I see that I have opposite over hypotenuse. So I want this sine theta is going to be x over 5. So my substitution is going to be x equal 5 sine theta. That means my dx is going to be 5 cosine theta d theta. Now let's go ahead and do the substitution then. So this would equal the integral of 4. I've got x squared, so my x was 5 sine theta, so that's going to be 25 sine squared theta. And then my dx is going to be 5 cosine theta d theta, and then that's going to be over the square root of 25 minus my x squared, which is 25 sine squared theta. So as I look to see what I could do to simplify this, if I factored a 25 out here, I'd have 1 minus sine squared theta. We can square root the 25, comes out here as a 5, and we can express 1 minus sine squared theta as cosine squared theta. And then when we square root that, that would leave us just a cosine theta. So that would actually cancel with this cosine theta up here. And this 5 would cancel with this 5. So what we're left with is the integral of 100 sine squared theta d theta. And now I can use the half angle formula for this and then I'll be able to compute the integral. So this would be, we can take the 100 out in front and the 1 half from the formula. So 50 multiplied by, we have 1 minus cosine 2 theta d theta. And so we can go ahead and do the integration there. So we still have our 50 multiplied by, this would be theta minus, this would be sine 2 theta, but we've got the chain rule going on, so we need the reciprocal of the derivative here, so that would be a 1 half out in front, and then plus our constant. Now we can go ahead and resubstitute, so I have 50, and then theta. Now how do I express theta? Well if I come up here, sine theta was x over 5, so theta is going to be the inverse sine of x over 5. So this is going to be sine inverse x over 5. And then here I have minus, I'm multiplying this 50 over here as well, so that will make that 25. And then I have sine 2 theta. And I can use a double angle formula. And we know that the double angle formula, if we had sine 2 theta, that equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. So that's going to equal 2 sine theta was x over 5. And cosine theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be the square root of 25 minus x squared over 5 and then plus our constant. So let's just do a little simplifying and we've got our answer. So we have 50 inverse sine of x over 5. Here we're multiplying by 25 and we have two of those in the denominator. So this is going to be minus 2x square root of 25 minus x squared plus a constant.